Think twice before sending lenses back to your laboratory if the lens power doesn't match what you ordered. They could be 100% correct. In this video, we'll explain why this happens. Let's start by understanding the light path when passing through three main optical systems. The phoropter is used to obtain the patient's prescription. During the refraction, the patient is looking straight ahead. Eyes and lenses are perfectly perpendicular to each other and aligned with the eye chart. Light comes from the chart and reaches the center of the lens at a perpendicular angle. A lensometer is used to measure lens power. The lens is fixed and perpendicular to the light beam of the system. The eye lens system represents what happens in real life when a patient is wearing a pair of glasses. All frames have pantoscopic tilt and wrap angle. Eyes and lenses are not perpendicular, even in the central vision. Eyes move. People look in different gaze directions and focus on objects at different distances. Nothing is fixed. What happens to the light path in real life? Obliquity changes everything. Light comes from different distances and angles and deviates from its original trajectory when passing through the lens, causing it to take new paths. As a result, all light does not land on the fovea. This leads to a significant drop in visual acuity. The patient is not perceiving his prescribed power. Compensated lenses consider the real-life environment and actual lens position in front of the patient's eye. Eye rotation and various viewing distances are simulated. The lens power is modified or compensated point by point across the entire surface of the lens. This corrects for oblique aberrations and ensures all light rays focus on the fovea. The patient perceives his prescription through the lens and the best visual quality is achieved for all distances and gaze directions. Remember, a lensometer does not perceive power in the same way as the human eye. It measures power at a perpendicular angle. You must use the compensated power provided by your laboratory for the final inspection of completed compensated lenses. This change in power is needed to adjust for deviation when light reaches the lens at angles that are not perpendicular. It ensures sharp vision in real life. Now you understand why power in compensated lenses does not match what you ordered from your laboratory.